Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth 10 πράγματα που πρέπει να ξέρει. Πλησιάζει το game, παιδιά. Είναι μόνο μέρε. Ξέρετε πόσο μεγάλο φαν είμαι των παιχνιδιών. Και τώρα πάμε να δούμε 10 πράγματα που πρέπει να ξέρετε και να ξέρουμε. Για να δω πόσα ξέρω και πόσα δεν ξέρω. Όπα, σκάω. Is looming close. There's a demo. Demo. You can get a feel for what to expect. And wow, I am excited. Hi, folks. It's Falcon. And today on Game Ranks, 10 things you need to know about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Starting off with number 10. Number 10. It's not open world. It's open zone. Δεν είναι open world, είναι open zone. Open zone, δηλαδή ανοιχτές περιοχές. Σε κάθε περιοχή που θα πάμε στο χάρτη, θα είναι ανοιχτές. Ε, Περιοχέ. Αυτό είναι ο χάρτη, το Gold Map που το βλέπουμε πρώτη φορά εδώ πέρα. Ο χάρτη ήταν πολύ σημαντικό στο OG Final Fantasy VII. Ε, και γιατί μπορούσε να κυκλοφορήσει το χάρτη με το χαρακτήρα σου στην ουσία. Now, no complaints about open zone. Open zone can be great. The fact that we're even saying the words open zone indicates that Sega was pretty successful with Sonic Frontiers. But the follow-up to Final Fantasy VII Remake is so much bigger than last time. The ναι, first ναι. game kept you trapped in the small, densely packed areas. I, I mean, that is the nature of Midgar and how it's set up. It okay. makes sense. The Midgar section of the first game was pretty darn guided and linear. Ακριβώς. Και στο αυθεντικό, το κομμάτι της Midgard ήταν πάρα πολύ κλειστό. Ήταν πίστα, μια πίστα ήταν. Δεν ήταν κλειστό, φουλ κλειστό, ρε. Γι' αυτό δεν είχαμε καθόλου ανοιχτές περιοχές και πολύ εξερεύνηση. The rest of the game, which is still fairly linear. But it looks like this entry is going in the opposite direction, giving you a gigantic open world map to explore. Oh, τεράστιο χάρτη, λέει, θα έχει. Full open world. It's it's splitting the game world into separate sections you can travel to, explore, and then move on from. And this section of the original game was mostly about the journey, so that's probably the best way to do things. But at least they did tell us you're going to be able to return to places you've already been, so you don't have to do everything in a chapter before moving on, like in remake. You can come back. Και φανταστείτε το βλέπουμε στο YouTube. Αμα το δεις σε 4K τηλεόραση μπροστά σου θα πάθεις σοκ. The state of play trailer is where the actual size of the maps becomes a lot more clear. Uh, they look absolutely huge. They're full of points of interest Terrastian. and side quests. Uh, they're gonna keep players busy. Just Γι' αυτό βάλετε τσόκομπο, γιατί θα έχουμε τεράστιους χάρτες και τα τσόκομπο βοηθάνε πάρα πολύ για να ταξιδεύεις γρήγορα. Και να εξερευνάς. Grasslands, the town of Calm, the Chocobo farm. Το, η πόλη του Calm, ρε φίλε. Uh, the Junon region, η Junon, uh, the Junon. Town in the city, like a smaller, Midgarish thing going. There's the Corel region. Corel, uh, ναι, the ρε φίλε. Costa del Sol and the Golden Sol. Golden Sol. Αυτό το δέχτηκε το Baggy. Αυτό είναι τα γραφικά από το αυθεντικό, έτσι. Αυτό έπαιζε, παιδιά. Αυτό είναι, το, το, αυτό είναι η αγάπη μου. There's the Cosmo Canyon region, the Cosmo Canyon. Nibble region, the Gangaga region. There's even a sea region. The Gangaga region is from the Uzak, from the Crisis Core. Let's see, we're going to go there. region called the Meridian Ocean, which is pretty crazy to me. Uh, can you freely travel between all these areas from the sea, or does it work differently? I, I don't really know. The takeaway is that Rebirth looks absolutely mad. Τα τσόκομπα που είναι διαφορετικό χρώμα, κάθε τσόκομπα έχει διαφορετικό skill. Π.χ. το πράσινο μπορεί να αιωρείται, το μαύρο μπορεί να ανεβαίνει τείχου, το χρυσό κάνει τα πάντα όλα, ό,τι κάνουν όλα τα τσόκομπο. Για, γι' αυτό κάναμε breed, είχε, είχε side quest να κάνει breed τα τσόκομπο. Massive. Τα γραφικά είναι insane. And in the same way the original was a το, το αυθεντικό. Like when... αυτό, αυτό είναι το αυθεντικό. Θα το βλέπατε ποτέ σε stream. And in the... Θα το βλέπατε ποτέ σε stream. Δείτε τα γραφικά. Same way the original was the achievement. It looks like this one maybe as well. Just looking at the trailers, they have some of the best looking open world slash zone environments I've ever seen. And I cannot wait to start exploring some of these iconic locations. Όχι, μπρο, θα βγάλω τα μάτια. Έλα ρε μαλάκα, δεν έχει να κάνει με τα γραφικά. Είναι ρέτρο ρε μπρο. And number nine, there is a ton to do in every area. The state of play trailer gave us the most information yet on a ton to do in every area. Iconic locations. And number nine, there is a ton to do in every area. Ah, the right. state of play trailer gave us the most information. Υπάρχουν πολλά πράγματα να κάνεις σε κάθε περιοχή. Yet on what we're going to actually be able to do in the game, and it seems like it's going to be an obscene amount. Ah, το mini game αυτό με το τέτοιο, ναι. 
Χάρτη να βρίσκεις κρυφά τέτοια. Region seems to have various points of interest around the map where you can go do stuff like wrangle chocobos or engage in some kind of uh, Moogle catching mini game. Doing these το, 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 γενικά τα Final Fantasy με τα mini games έχουν μια τρέλα ρε και είναι πολύ ωραία τα mini games ρε sort of things, uh, intel, Εγώ θα έβλεπα γιατί θα θυμηθώ τα παλιά και την παρα... και εγώ ρε φίλε θέλω πολύ να το κάνω stream The data collection guy from Remake um, There's also these towers that are used to reveal stuff on the map uh, They're straight up Ubisoft towers might add Αυτό, Αυτός εδώ ο τυπάκος δεν υπήρχε στο αυθεντικό έτσι τον βάλανε για να βοηθήσουν στο open world στο, στην εξερεύνηση στα ματήρια και σε αυτά uh, They do look less tedious At least. It looks like Λέει Ubisoft πύργη ρε Στην ουσία με αυτούς πύργους ανοίγεις τελε, Fast travel και το χάρτη boom, than, you know, I don't hate that It's all right. uh, Another example of things you can do In the open world is this divine intel Which seems to be connected to some <laughs> Μαλάκα Τι λες Αυτό ξέρετε ποιος τι είναι Αυτό είναι ο Αλεξάνδερ ο Αλεξάνδερ είναι ένα σάμον από το Final Fantasy IX. What the fuck? I don't know if this is how you unlock new ones in this game. Έτσι ανοίγουμε τα καινούρια σάμονς. The thing in the trailers that's Νάτος, Αλεξάνδερ. Related to this mechanic is absolutely. Το 9. Κατάλαβατε; Το στο 9 ήταν πολύ prominent ο Αλεξάνδερ. Alexander summon like zero questions there. So it might Uh, but one of the more bizarre surprises of the trailer is this part where the characters appear in their low poly PS1 forms. Άμα, άμα βγάζανε ένα Final Fantasy VII αυθεντικό με αυτά, με αυτά εδώ τα γραφικά, θα το έπαιζα. Or at least close to their low poly PS1 form. I'm sure that's the basis of these models. There's a little more to them, obviously. Apparently, this is related to something called a Proto Relic, which are extra quest lines in each region that seem to have... Some kind of goofy or weird things that I don't really know. They might be connected to Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh! Τι δουλεύει ο Gilgamesh εδώ ρε? The multi-armed guy seen in the trailer for a few seconds. This recurring Final Fantasy enemy never appeared in Final Fantasy VII or Ναι, αυτό ήταν στο 8. Τι δουλεύει εδώ? So if he's actually in this game, that's pretty amazing. I can't wait to hear their version. Αλλά καβάλλει και νούρια πολλά πράγματα μέσα. Version of battle at the big bridge. There's also side quests. Obviously, it's an RPG. You gotta have those. And from what I've seen in the trailers, τι λες δεν τα δω κοβαλάς κατόπουλο ε πως θα λέει παγιδεύεις κατόπουλο. More interesting than the first games. Open world games can fall into this trap of having a bunch of boring side quests. Even Final Fantasy 16 fell into that trap. So hopefully Rebirth actually tries to make these things. And number eight is party members. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth expands the cast on the previous game by nearly doubling the amount of party members. Ο Red 13 έρχεται να μπορούμε να τον χρησιμοποιήσουμε. Yuffie έρχεται. Στο DLC. Μπράβο. Kate Sith. Kate Sith, μπράβο. Κάποιοι άνθρωποι ότι θα ήταν απλώ κάτω από αυτό το game εντελώ, αλλά. Why did you think that? The first one showed how committed they are to the bizarre stuff. Ναι, ναι. And it's here whether you like it or not. The trailer shows the last two party members, Vincent and Sid. Οι οποίοι δεν θα είναι, δεν μπορούμε να τους παίξουμε με αυτούς. But I guess they're not actually playable in this game. They're gonna be in part three, I guess. It's kind of disappointing, but maybe we'll get playable Vincent. Νάτος, ο Vincent, παιδιά, πόσο πατουράκι είναι ο μπρο. DLC, like we got playable Yuffie and Integrate. Ο μπρο είναι main character, μπρο. It seems like the business model. Μετά το cloud, εννοεί. They took work the first time around, because they obviously made the second one, and they spent what looks like a lot more money on it. Each new character has uh, their own gimmick when you control them too. Uh, Red 13 Vincent can, ball, can yeah. swim across gaps. Kate Sith can pick up stuff and throw it. Ο κάθε χαρακτήρας μπορεί να κάνει διαφορετικά πράγματα στον κόσμο δηλαδή. So all these guys give you new ways to explore. It, it's, Για να μπορείς really να κάνεις promising. explore. Μ' αρέσει πάρα πολύ αυτό. Το ότι μπορείς να εξερευνήσεις το κάθε χάρτη, κάθε περιοχή ας πούμε, με τον κάθε χαρακτήρα διαφορετικά. And number seven is new mechanics. Uh, Remake's battle system has this perfect combination of old and new, but Rebirth is kind of mixing things up. I don't want to Oh, Alaji battle. Say it's like a, a total change. Like it seems like the basic combat mechanics are mostly the same, but they've added some new wrinkles to spice things up. The biggest addition I've seen are our combat synergies. These kind of Nah, the synergies in this new synergy between characters. Eh, amane vasis to level pou gustare vanas charakteras ton alona. 
ε, που συμπαθιούνται μπορούν να κάνουν μετά επιθέσεις μαζί, όπως εδώ βλέπετε. Επίσης. Είναι tag team φάση. Yuffie McCabe ήταν το καλύτερο super cute, ναι. Μπράβο, αυτό το folio είναι στην ουσία ένα καινούριο γκρι, το οποίο θα ανεβάσει τα level με το synergy του κάθε χαρακτήρα, όπως να τώρα στο cloud. That upgrade your chosen character in various ways, and thankfully you're free to reset your points whenever you want. So you can experiment with character builds, and that's the right way to go with something like this. Um, you also get folio points from another new mechanic, which is called party level. It's independent from your standard experience level and seems to rank up from exploring the world and doing activities rather than just from combat. So I don't hate that. Like they actually reward you for doing the stuff that like you want to do in a Final Fantasy game. Not a bad idea. Nothing revolutionary. Doesn't change the formula. But I'm glad they didn't start from scratch because I absolutely loved the combat in the original remake. Which uh, the original remake is a funny thing to say. But iteration on a proven formula is absolutely the right path here. And number six, there are a whole lot of mini games. If you go. Yeah, we play mini games. Well, I mean, go back games. and play the original Final Fantasy VII. One thing that really sticks out is how many mini games there are, and it looks yeah, like yeah. Rebirth is is not playing around. It seems like there's just as many, if not more. Seriously, in the recent showcase, they yeah, showed yeah. many of the mini games just at the start. There's dolphin riding, Bro. Uh, which is not something from the original game I expected to uh, return here. There's the parade marching mini game, the minecart shooting segment, and uh, of course the many many mini games from the Golden Saucer. Pretty much all the mini games that Too were late. in the Saucer seem to be back in some form. The 3D brawler is here. Uh, the motorcycle game, G bike. Chocobo G bike, ne? Chocobo the racing. Τα uh, Chocobo racing. Uh, no submarine game, unfortunately. Ah, the next game to be Vrigio. But that's not even the end of it. They showed off hey, this this soccer mini game with Red 13. Uh, there's a bunch of returning mini games from remake, like the box smashing one, and a lot more. The Final Fantasy VII Rebirth team saw all the mini games from Yakuza this 8, the... and they were like. Hold my beer. I'm surprised there isn't. A <laughs> Hold my beer, lay the yakuza. Hold my beer mini game. They have gone completely mini game mad. There's even. To piano, feel it. Did I get this to TikTok with the piano? Na pezuno komatia. An entire card game. The Final Fantasy. Και αυτό το card game ρε μαλάκι στο 8 είχαν βάλει αυτό το που βλέπετε τώρα αυτό το το card game που βλέπετε αυτή τη στιγμή είναι το Triple Triad είναι από το 8 από το Final Fantasy 8 στο 7 δεν είχε card game και τώρα βάλανε ρε φίλε. Ήταν πολύ ωραίο το card game. Final Fantasy 8 and in Rebirth we're getting a game called Queen's Blood. Queen's I've spent Blood. A ton of time looking at this board and from uh, what I can tell, it looks kind of like a cross between Triple Triad and Gwent. It's the Nere, μιάζει λίγο με Gwent. Lanes that give me the comparison. I enjoyed Triple Triad and I enjoyed Gwent probably more than Triple Triad honestly. So I can't wait to put off saving the world to play some children's card game in Rebirth. Nere bro. Nere bro. So, the original Final Fantasy 7 had this hidden mechanic that was basically there to determine which character Cloud would go on a date with in the Golden Saucer. Αυτό, αυτό. Λέει ότι υπάρχει ένα κρυφό μηχανισμό με τις επιλογές που θα κάνεις ανάλογα με ποιον θα πας για ραντεβού date, έτσι, date, date, date. Με ποιο χαρακτήρα θα πας για date στο Gold Saucer όταν φτάσεις στο σημείο εδώ. Αν τον κάτι σ' άρεσε γιατί να μην το βάλουν και ας καινούρια remake. Εάν δουν ότι κάτι... Ναι. Ε, τι έχουν κάνει οι άνθρωποι μπρέοντες. Χρυσό πιατάκι. Just there uh, to determine who you go on a date with, just like the. Nato, Nato. Θα κάνω τα πάντα. Θα ξεκινάω το game από την αρχή αν χρειαστεί αμ, για να πάω date με την Τίφα. Original, but I, I have to imagine the actual dates are going to be a little more fleshed out here. The story's playing out differently, also, so maybe uh, there'll be new characters you couldn't go out on a date with before. You can. Enoite θα πάμε με την Τίφα. Enoite, enoite πως θα πάμε με την Τίφα. Go out with them now. This might sound very pointless. 
to some of you out there, but uh, diehard Final Fantasy VII fans, this not, this not fans are probably going to think this is pretty great. I kind of assumed they, they would Bro. give you an option to go with a certain character like boobs, hair, or gay. But no, the Rebirth team is just pulling out all the stops, and, and you got to give them respect for that. And number four, there are many forms of transportation. Uh, the previous game struggled to get characters to move at even a normal walking pace, so I assumed you'd be basically walking everywhere at best in Rebirth, but I was pretty wrong about that. There's a lot of transportation options in this game, and I, I really couldn't be more excited to see it. Of course, there's Chocobos, the classic hey, man, Final Fantasy Chocobo. mount, and you could use them to get around faster here, but the trailer showed a lot of Chocobo variants, like the Black Chocobo, which can climb cliffs, another Chocobo that can bounce in the air, and one that can <laughs> basically fly, which I didn't think we'd see. There's multiple vehicles as well. There's a Segway-like standing scooter you can use in Costa del Sol. There's the buggy from the original game for getting around the desert which why would that be there but it is i'm guessing the desert section is gonna be pretty damn huge if they've got a context dependent vehicle for it the biggest surprise for me was that the tiny broncos here tiny in, bronco in the original man. game it was basically just kind of a boat it allowed you to travel around in shallow water and it does the same thing here I this is how you navigate the meridian sea and it looks great the trailer yeah, does really. show the actual airship, the high wind, in the distance. The high wind. On, but αυτό είναι το, αυτό το, το high wind, το, πλε, το, πώς το, είναι, το αεροπλάνο, το παίρνεις και μπορείς να, να πετάς το χάρτη γρήγορα στο αυθεντικό. I don't feel like you're going to get full control of it here. I honestly don't even know how that would work in a game like this, but they're surprising me with the buggy and the Bronco, so I guess anything's on the tail at this point. And number three, the story is going to conclude around the end of disc one in the original game. There is very little we know about the story, at least in regards to what is new. The end of Remake promised that Rebirth would be a journey into the unknown, but we don't know exactly what that means. One thing we do know is that they are going to end the story around the climax of disc one from the original Final Fantasy VII. Now, ending the second... What the fuck? They'll only disc second part of your three-part story with the end of the first disc of a three-disc game might sound a little off, but if you remember the structure of Final Fantasy VII, it kind of makes a little more sense. Disc 1 and 2 contain probably most of the story for the game, and Disc 3 is kind of, in a lot of ways, endgame content. I mean, it's not really endgame content. That isn't really how they looked at things in those days. But I think it kind of makes perfect sense. And also, the story kind of goes off the rails a bit. Not saying that as a bad thing, but it, it gets nuts. So this kind of feels like a good stopping point. And that means this game is going to end on the moment. And if you... <sighs> this game is gonna end on the moment. Δεν κάνω spoil για όσους δεν ξέρουν, για όσους, για όσους ξέρουν πόσο έχει τα να τριχιάσει από το 1 έως το 10. Have ever played Final Fantasy VII or have been on the internet Shock. before? You have Shock. to know exactly what that means. And that's what's on everyone's mind Shock. regarding Shock. this. Shock. Shock. So number two, Shock. Aerith's fate. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid. Το είπε παιδιά το είπε. Avoid spoilers here as much as possible. Λοιπόν, εδώ από εδώ και πέρα έχει λέει αυτός θα αποφύγει τα spoiler, έτσι; Μην δεν ατρεχίλα λέω στράτος καλά δεν But the thing is. Everyone wants to know what is Aerith's fate. You know what happened in the city of the ancients in the original game, but with Rebirth, things can change. That was kind of the whole point of the ending of Remake. The chains of fate are broken, so basically anything is on the table. The developers knew this was the thing that everybody wants to know. In the state of play trailer, they say that they've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey, uh, one that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. They wouldn't say that unless they were going to to do something different this time, right? Let's not in a to diaphoretico and made analog of its epilogues pukani state and a gamata of to ala meta posta to xinehis and so to the power. Maybe they're faking this out and it all plays out the same way. I think honestly, very clever move because we've known what happened to Aerith for a panexipno. Sifono, after pukana panexipno, yet he stis an edge to pechnidi, kikanne the losi status pukanune. Για να σε μπερδέψουν. Εμεί ξέρουμε τι θα γίνει στο κανοθεντικό, αλλά τώρα στο rebirth δεν ξέρουμε τι θα γίνει. Έχουμε, ε, έχουν φαγωθεί όλοι να μάθουν πώ θα εξελιχθεί αυτή η συγκεκριμένη σκηνή. Γιατί αυτή η συγκεκριμένη σκηνή είναι τόσο πολύ σημαντική για το game. 
Ε, που όταν, θα, όταν θα φτάσουμε εκεί θα καταλάβατε. Ε, που είναι insane, έτσι. Οπότε έχουν καταφέρει να κάνουν το, το, το ακατόρθωτο. Δηλαδή, ε, να, να μας κάνουν να χαϊπάρουμε και να μην έχουμε ιδέα το τι θα γίνει σε κάτι που έχει γίνει <laughs> στο παρελθόν. Like 17 years now, somewhere around there. But apparently, the devs are worried that the ending of the game is going to be controversial. Uh, but let's be real here; they're right. Uh, no matter what happens, people are going to have strong feelings about it. And it's also kind of the elephant in the room when you're talking about rebirth. It may be the thing that ends Bro. up defining the game when it's all Bro. over. Personally, I am super curious to see what they do. I don't know that one way is better than the other, and it's more about how they go about either choice they make. <laughs> από τα μεγαλύτερα παιχνίδια της χρονιάς αν όχι το μεγαλύτερο Exclusively to the PlayStation 5 on February 20. Apocalyptic PS5. Just like with remake, it's a timed exclusive, uh, so it's safe to say it's going to be eventually on PC, but hard. In a timed exclusive, δηλαδή κάποια στιγμή θα έρθει και στο PC. To say when remake came out on April 10th, 2020, but didn't show up on Windows until December 16th, 2021. Uh -huh. So not quite two years, but not exactly one either. Περίπου uh, ένα χρόνο. With a pretty big chunk of chapter one to play, and there's really no downside to playing it because if you complete the demo, you can just skip the segment of the game when it finally comes out. Or that affects me. The bonuses you get for having saves from remake and integrate, they're not major. Like you're not making the game worse for yourself if you don't have these saves on your system but if you've got a remake save you got the leviathan summon at the start of the game and if you've got an integrate save the ufi dlc store you get the remove summon it's easily one of the most anticipated games of the year and it looks like it's going to be absolutely huge damn i mean i've been rambling for ages and it's like really scratching the surface of what's going on in this game but what do you think Leave us a comment. Let us know if you like this video. Quick like. If you're not subscribed, to to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is of course a subscription. So click subscribe. Don't forget to enable notifications. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. And I'm Falcon. Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon the Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks. Arigato gozaimasu. Lipon, I'll send you a little bit of link to the video in the chat. Ευχαριστούμε πολύ. Λοιπόν, πώς σας φάνηκε, θα μου πείτε θέλω και εσείς την άποψή σας. Ε, εκπληκτικό, μάθαμε πληροφορίες αρκετές, πολλά mini games, open world σε κομμάτια. Ε, ε, αυτό το, το ότι στο τέλος είναι αβέβαιο, αβέβαιο, αβέβαιο εκείνη η μεγάλη στιγμή όταν έρχεται εκείνη η μεγάλη στιγμή κύριε και κύριοι. Οπότε είμαι πάρα πολύ χαϊπαρισμένος. Μια εβδομάδα έμεινε. Την άλλη εβδομάδα, τέτοια, την πέμπτη ξεκινάμε τα στριμάκια με το που βγει το game. Uh, πέμπτη, Παρασκευή, Σάββατο, Κυριακή, κάθε μέρα θα είμαστε live όσες ώρες αντέχω, άπειρες ώρες. Ρε, όσες αντέχω, θα βαράω, θα βαράω, ρε. Ε, αυτό, αυτό. Ε, full hyped, ευχαριστώ. Subscribe.